Hello everyone, welcome to a very exciting first for Chaucer. We are going to start our weekly celebration assemblies and they are especially for all of the absolutely brilliant work you've been doing this week. So sit back, enjoy, look out for your name if you've been working hard and share and celebrate all of the marvellous work that everybody has done. Here we go. Well, to get the ball rolling and what a way to get the ball rolling, you have just seen from RCW, Maisie. Well done, Maisie, you've been chosen. You have learned uh, this week and have been really showing off to write your name beautifully and all by yourself, working hard every day. Well done, Maisie. And Ted, well done, Ted. Same for you, working hard every day. And your teachers have picked your favourite animal piece of work as the one that they loved the most. Congratulations, you two. A combined effort now from the reception children that have been in our bubble at school. Oscar P, Chloe Ann and Elliot J. Look at you with your amazing pictures. Everyone will love to see these. Well done on working so hard. Next up, Miss Trevor's choices. Cool, it was hard for her to choose. James, congratulations. You stood out from the crowd this week because you've been working hard on your home learning. But you know, you've also been helping your mum and dad out too, haven't you? Because you have a new baby sister. So my goodness, you've been busy. Keep that great attitude. Keep being kind and thoughtful. We love that at your son. Next, a very, very special mention. So Jessica M in 1T. Jessica is brand new to us at Chawson and she's only just joined us. And she hasn't even been in the building with her class. But you know, she's working so hard on her home learning. We are so impressed with you, Jessica. Um, can't wait to have you in school and in class. Keep practicing that cursive handwriting because I learned that you are doing brilliantly at that already. Well done. Well, continuing the marvellous run from year one, it's the winter scenes that have caught the eye of the teachers in 1PT. They have chosen for Celebration Assembly this week, Lawrence. Lawrence, your winter scene was beautiful and you've been chosen because of the extra detail you put in, a robin on a bird bath. How fantastic. And Kezia. They, the teachers both knew that you have put so much effort into that to produce something absolutely wonderful. Another amazing winter scene. Well done to both of you. Isabella, you are Miss Gardner's first choice. Congratulations. You've worked hard on all of your work and in particular, she really loves your handwriting. Great attitude. Well done, Isabella, for being picked this week. Next, Owen. Oh, Owen, great attitude, work every day. And I hear that you've done Charlie's Challenge, helping out an adult around the house, vacuuming and making soup. A very sensible choice for Miss Gardner. How brilliant both of you. 2W, it's your turn. Layla, congratulations. Your tiger who came to tea has got you selected. What a high standard. Miss White is absolutely overwhelmed by what you've been able to achieve at home. Congratulations. Amazing handwriting as well. Next, Edward, your mum is proud and so is Miss White. You're not the biggest fan of writing, but we can tell that you've put in so much effort and Boy, has it paid off. Your writing is fantastic. Next up, 2MW. So I am very pleased to announce that in 2MW select this week is Henry B. Congratulations, Henry. The thing that's really shone out, not only have you completed all of your work this week, but your positive attitude is absolutely there for your teachers to see. Well done on that. 
because you've done all the work and Mrs Drury's Lido challenge. So well done. People will love to see the picture of you and your sister. Keep up that good work. Nevea. Nevea, you're a bit the same, aren't you? You've gone above and beyond this week. You've done all of the tasks set and the project homework made a beautiful mosque with the prayer mats inside. It's an absolute delight. So we hope you had fun doing that. Well done both of you. Mrs Pledger has had a challenge this week, hasn't she? Brand new, getting to know all of your brilliant work, 3H. How tough to choose just two. But she has, of course, that was her mission, Charles, you're the first. Charles, you've been chosen because of the high standards of your work. So impressive. Extra research, so many facts about World War II. Utterly well deserved. Next, Daisy, you really shone out this week for your fantastic attitude and all the things you've done, particularly in maths, I'm told. And then on top of that, reading. Your commitment to it has been wonderful. Reading to younger siblings, what a great way to practice, to learn and to enjoy reading. Well done. Miss Cullen has been treated this week by 3C. She's had a tough time choosing. But Danny and Alma, you've been chosen for the most amazing work above and beyond high standards. Your parents have noticed all those skills you've learned at school as well your really positive mindset and your determination to succeed and do you know what Miss Cullen has been very very impressed with all of those things but she's also really enjoyed seeing your smiling faces this week she is very very proud to be your teacher and I am very proud to be your head teacher congratulations You've been busy in 3K this week. Mr. Kellum has chosen, drum roll, Pacey. Well done, Pacey. You've worked hard all week and even did your maths on a day that you were poorly. What a great commitment to your home learning. Well done, Pacey. And next, <gasps> bit of a family affair here because we've already had his brother. It is Harry. Well done, Harry. Uh, Mr. Kellum has been really amazed, impressed with your enthusiasm for home learning and would also like to make a very special mention to your mum who has just had her baby and is helping you with all that home learning. So well done, you guys. Max and Marie in 4SR, congratulations, you have been chosen. You have been chosen because you have worked all week super hard and sends in something to Mrs Roberts every single day. Keep up that fantastic job. And Mrs Roberts wanted a special shout out for the whole of her class this week. She said it was incredibly hard to choose just two. So who will it be next week? For s setting the standard in year four. Cameron Bowden in particular for working hard every day. Just wait till you see the picture. He is clearly working very hard. And especially answering the challenge questions that Mrs. Smith sends along. Well done, Cameron. Utterly well deserved. And Madison, you really rose to the challenge when you were asked to find household objects for maths. You did this in a spectacular way and that's what stood you out today for Celebration Assembly. Congratulations for S. This week, Mrs. Rudkin tells me she feels very mean indeed only choosing two, but she has. The two she has chosen, first of all, Leo. Leo, you've been chosen for the high quality of work that you've done this week. Your engagement is fantastic. 
Um, and then a special mystic message that says, well done on the running too. That sounds fabulous. Next, Ellie May, you've been chosen for all sorts of reasons, I can tell. You have this week have shown an amazing understanding of your maths and your VCOP work was brilliant too. Mrs. Redkin says she cannot wait to see the final story that you write for her. How exciting. So there we have it for this very first week of our remote celebration assembly. What lucky children to be chosen. What lucky ch teachers to have those children. Now, we're doing the same thing next week. Work hard, do your very best. It could be you next time. <laughs>